Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out looking at some of the homes that will be included in our next online auction. This particular property is at 120 Lakeside Drive in Covington, Georgia. When I drove up, I looked in the house, I said, well, it looks pretty nice. I saw a few trees in the gutters and I said, well, maybe it's not going to be so nice. Surprise, surprise, it's a good house. Just need some outside work. I don't think the uh, lawn has been kept up and the gutters need cleaning out. Rest of the house, pretty good shape. You might want to decorate it to your taste. That's fine with me, but I believe you could probably move in this house and work on it as you lived here. Pretty good house. There's a lake through the woods. I don't think we have access to it. You can find that out after you move in. Our yard is completely fenced in the backyard. Uh, there's chain link down each side and there's a farm fence on the back and I assume that belongs to the people that owns the lake. So, check it out. I'm not going to really have time to do it. Maybe you can sneak down there and fish. I don't know. We're going to go ahead on inside, take a look at it. Before we do, I'll give you a little glance of the uh, front yard and then we'll go out on the deck, look at the back and a couple of things in the backyard you probably need to know about. After that, you're on your own. Come out here and look at it yourself. Uh, rely on your own inspection, not mine. I'm just trying to get you a little interest in the house, point out a few features to it. All right, we're going to head inside and look forward to showing this house to you. Okay, just before we go in, let's just take a quick glance here at the front of the house. That's where I saw those trees in the gutter. Just pull them out, clean the gutter, and I think it'll be fine. The roof looks fine. And all these houses out here look to be well maintained. You'll enjoy the drive down uh, Lakeside Drive. Okay, let's head inside and look this house over. It's going to be a good one. Okay, as I came in the house, first thing caught my eye was this rock fireplace. This is a large uh, family room. The walls are in good shape. There was a few decorations hung. Ceiling's in good shape. Even left the blinds with the house. I think there's potential for a great room here. Carpet, so-so. Might want to look at putting in some new carpet. I mean, after all, it'd be your new house. We can afford a little paint and carpet. All right, pretty good. Let's head over here through that doorway. That's the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna stop here at the business part first. Look, there's lots and lots and lots of cabinets. Space, 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 I like it. That's your refrigerator compartment and more cabinets on the bottom. The floor doesn't look that bad. It's in pretty good shape. I think in today's world, you probably put a new countertop on, but those cabinets can probably be revived. I don't know about the stove or the dishwasher. They, uh, you know, just happen to be here. We don't have any power on. Look, they left the blinds again. This is your little um, breakfast area, dinette area. Does have your light fixture. That's a, this is a spacious kitchen. Very spacious. All right, just off the kitchen is our laundry. It has some extra room in it. You could probably, uh, if you iron, you could iron in here. Maybe use it for some storage with some extra shelving, but there's all your hookups. One thing about this house, it does have uh, a gas meter on the side, so there's gas. You can use a gas dryer if you wanted to. All right, this is a large two-car garage. If you'll notice there's space on the other side of the door, so it's kind of a little bit oversized for a two-car garage. It's better than put in the houses today. There's an opener with it. I don't know about the controls. And then we do have a uh, utility room. It's a pretty spacious room itself. And they do have a gas water heater. So nice garage with utility space. And I'm guessing that's behind the, uh, right behind the laundry, so everything's right there together. Might even take that wall out, who knows. All right, let's head down the hall, look at some uh, 
bedrooms. All right, we're gonna head down the hallway and we'll just take it a door at a time. How's that? This is the uh, first bath in the house. It does have two baths. Nice little uh, vanity, shower tub combo. Still has the old glass sliding doors on it, but it looks good. Ceiling looks good. This whole house is starting to look better. This is down the hallway on the right. We have a pretty nice uh, size bedroom. Ever who lived here cared for this house. You don't see um, dents and punches in the walls and that kind of thing. I think just a little prep work, paint them to your color. You might even just wipe them down and move in here and take care of that paint later if you want to. Because it's not that bad and the house is not dirty. Again, this carpet uh, looks good back through these areas. All right, another bedroom. This will be on the front right of the house if you're facing the house. Again, the carpet looks pretty good. And ceilings are fine. Walls are fine. Just a little cleaning is all. You could move in this house. It'd be okay. All right, let's look at our master suite. Now, somebody went to work in here. This has a, a tray ceiling, and it is huge. And we also have a uh, ceiling fan. There's been a little uh, trim wallpaper put up. But there's molding in this room around the ceiling. And the carpet looks fairly decent. Uh, a few places might have a smudge or two, but the walls are nice, too. This is not going to take a lot on this house. Some people I hear them say all the time, oh, it's too much work. Well, it's paint and carpet. You're not going to do it yourself anyway. This is an um, oversized closet. It's pretty nice. And then here with the master bedroom, we also have a master bath. And it has a few little nice features. Here's your uh, tub shower combo with the glass doors. And we have a double sink vanity. The, do uh, the door for that little old drawer is there. We have more storage behind the door. But again, they copied that same decor from the uh, master bedroom. Hey, pretty good house here for somebody. If you're thinking of moving to Covington or going to be at Covington, this is it. All right, we're gonna go out on the deck. Okay, I'm out on the deck. This is a large lot. It's hard to see that fence over there, but it's a good ways past the house. Yeah, you might can see it. And then we have this, uh, it's all wooded back here. It just needs cleaning up. Clean the gutters out. There's a little rod around the back door. And uh, I'm thinking, that's the back door off the kitchen, I'm thinking uh, those gutters would solve a lot of problems if they were clean. Now, they make some things you can put on top of them now and the leaves do not get in them. That's what I have at my house. And there's a utility building, playhouse, you know, you'll be the judge of that. We're not even going to look at it. It's just there. As in, I mean, you can go in it. There's a table and chairs in it. But anyway, this is a fence backyard. The deck appears to be in good shape. Pressure bar stain it. It'd be great. Um, few trees to clean up, trim up some limbs, get a little sunshine in here. It's going to be a pretty house. This is one, this is a keeper. All right, one more thing on the side of the house. I think, I think the air conditioner has been removed. Okay, this appears to be a little pad where the air conditioning would have sat, and then there's the electric for it, but I do not see any pipe going through the wall, so I'm not sure there. You'll need to check that out with a qualified air conditioning technician. And while I'm here, maybe I can get you a, a view of where that fence corners. That's uh, usually from the gate. Usually those posts are about 10 feet apart. That one looks a little longer, but 10, 30, 40. It's 50 to 60 feet over there from the gate of backyard space. You could really have some fun with this backyard. Natural plants and beds and things. Hey, this is a great house. It's 
somebody's going to own it. It's an absolute auction. In really good shape. Get out here and look at it. Okay, I hope you uh, found some things that you like. That's going to finish it up here at 120 Lakeside Drive in Covington, Georgia. Before we leave, I just want to remind you a couple of things. It's an online only auction, all biddings on the internet. You can find us at terryhow.com. Also, uh, read your contract package. A lot of information in there. Going to answer a lot of the questions that you have on your mind when you first find out about this house. That contract package, uh, we try to put everything in there we can possibly think of to help you uh, make an intelligent decision and an and a, uh, informed decision of buying the house. If you need some help after that, that's okay. Give us a call. Our number's at the bottom of the screen or send us an email, info at terryhow.com. We also have some help videos uh, on the web page to help you with the bidding process. It's pretty simple, I'm told. I've never bid, that's the funny part. Uh, but it's a pretty simple process. Listen, this is a good house. Go make somebody a fine home. Uh, I hope you'll get out here and look at it as we talk about it. Um, I hope you pick up some tips on it. It's, it's going to be a good house for you. Well, I'll see you at the auction online only. And the address is terryhow.com. I hope the video helped you. And I hope you uh, take time to come out here yourself. And I try to be informed as I can. I hope this is uh, working for you. Thank you so much for visiting with us. We'll see you at the auction. terryhow.com.